The X101 is the newest helmet in AGV's Legend series and it looks back to the off-road helmets of the 70s and 80s. This particular colour scheme is an homage to the early Paris-Dakar racers and it features the names of each stage of the 1987 rally listed around the helmet. Combined with the off-white finish and sharp graphics, I think this is a beautiful looking helmet, definitely my favourite in the lineup. In helmet terms, it's actually pretty basic, so there isn't that much detail to go into. But before I talk about how it performed on the road, let's just take a quick look at its construction and some of the technical features. It's a fiberglass shell, which I did think felt very light when I picked it out of the box, so I popped it on the scales. Just over 1400 grams is pretty decent for this type of helmet, and I have to say it does feel really nice and solid. In fact, there's a premium feel and look to the helmet in general. The eco leather and suede interior is lovely and plush and the whole interior is removable with the exception of this neck roll. There are cutouts that look like they'll take speakers uh, so if you did want to fit a comms unit you can although I'm not really sure you'd want to to this type of helmet. The vented peak is a standard three snap fitment so you've got lots of options there but AGV do actually have a shorter peak that you can put on this. They also have a suitably retro set of goggles in the legend range should you want to complete the look. The four arched vents in the chin are permanently open, but it is nice to see that AGV put a metal mesh behind there just to stop the road crap and insects coming through and getting in your mouth. There are three shell sizes, covering sizes, extra small through to extra, extra large. And there's a good old dependable double D-ring chin strap to keep this helmet on your bonds. As you'd expect, it comes with a nice soft touch helmet cover but that's not all. Inside this helmet cover is another even softer helmet cover, which means you can be doubly sure you'll keep this helmet protected when it's not on your head. Obviously there isn't a lot more detail to talk about in terms of the tech for this helmet so let's jump over to its performance on the road. I'll start with the fit. I've always found AGV helmets to be true to their sizing guide. They are described as an intermediate or medium oval in shape. As a comparison, whilst they fit me quite well, I find them to be a little rounder than showy. I have a bit more space on the side of my head. AGV do supply an extra pad in with the instructions which you can add to the top of the lining if the helmet sits a little low. As you would expect, vision is excellent and of course there is no problem with either glasses or goggles. My Biltwell Moto 2 goggles fit a treat and I honestly don't think you'll have any issue getting any goggle into the big eye port. It's as noisy as any other helmet of this type and although of course it depends a lot on how well it fits, I had no issues with noise at all. But I do always wear earplugs. To be honest, I think the plush interior helps and does a really good job of deadening any noise. The peak works really well. It's a great sunshade, which is essentially what these peaks were designed to do, but it's also very stable. It didn't grab at all when riding normally, no problems with shoulder checks, even at high speed. Obviously, if you stick your head back at 80 miles an hour, it will catch and cause drag, but who does that anyway? In a normal riding position, it was excellent, no vibrations at all for me. Overall, I was really impressed with the X101. It looks great and it's got a really authentic retro aesthetic, particularly in this color scheme. It's light, comfortable and has a premium feel and at $279.99, I think it's actually pretty competitive too. However, I did find it currently running with a discount, so I put a link in the description down below if you're interested. So if you ride a retro scrambler, a dirt bike or an adventure, or indeed you just want to hark back to the good old days of the original Paris Dakar rally, then this is definitely a lid to go on your list. If you've enjoyed this video, then a like always helps. And if you'd like to see more of my reviews as they come through, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I do have a few new helmet reviews to come, including a couple that meet the new CE2206 standard. So until next time, all that leaves me to say is thanks again for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.